Show. Collecting. Most of the Mr. Men and Little Misses enjoy collecting interesting things, even if others don't always understand why. A collection says something about its collector, though sometimes a collection is started simply because it's useful. Grumpy. Hello, Miss Calamity. Exciting news. You are the grand prize winner in the Dillydale sweepstake. You win a collection of extremely breakable glass animals. Oh, I'm so lucky. Wait, did you say extremely breakable glass animals? Don't make me repeat myself. I am in a right mood. Now, where do you want them? Well, I'm not sure that I do. I mean, what am I going to do with a house full of extremely breakable glass animals? Start your own zoo. My goodness, extremely breakable glass animals everywhere you look. That's why they call it a collection. No sign here. Hi, Miss Calamity. Hey, where did you get all these animals? I won them in a sweepstake. Nice. Oh, oh dear. Oh, phew. Now, I really shouldn't have these around. I could take a couple off your hands. I quite like that hippo and that gorilla. Be my guest. Yoo-hoo, Miss Calamity. I heard about your grand prize. What beautiful glass animals. These must be extremely breakable. <gasps> Did I say breakable? I meant valuable. Hoo-hoo. Mr Bounce, how would you like this collection of animals? Well, you see, I couldn't possibly take your prize. Well, maybe just one. I will take the extremely breakable giraffe. Perfect. Let me get it for you. <laughs> oh, Hello. Goodbye. Uh. Oh, Pickles. There's been a mistake, Miss Calamity. You weren't the winner of the extremely breakable glass animal collection. Oh, dear. I hope you don't want them back. No, but exciting news. Yes? You are the second prize winner in the Dillydale sweepstake, and here is your very own collection of tree frogs. But I don't like frogs. Oh, what a calamity. Welcome back to Good Morning Dillydale. Today we have some guests whose wonderful collections were collected collectively. Which is why they're called collectors. <laughs> exactly. Mrs. Scatterbrain, why don't you begin? Certainly. <laughs> I have this very nice coil of rope. A pineapple, a purple tennis ball. I don't understand the connection in that collection. Oh, and this piece of candy. That is not a collection, you pea brain. But it's peppermint candy. Well, what Mr. Root means is a collection is usually made up of things that have something in common. <laughs> oh, well, why didn't you say so? Where did he go? So, does that mean my drawer full of hair ribbons is a collection? I suppose it does. How about my closet full of shoes? Yes, that would be a collection of sorts. How about my lawn full of grass? So, Mr Lazy, what do you have for us today? I collect remote controls which make my life easier. This one opens a refrigerator. My, it is dark in this refrigerator. This one pulls up my socks. I brought my collection! Here's Myrna, Fritz and Fifi. 
three monkeys. Ha, ha, ha. Wonderful. You do have a collection after all. My remote controls. They're calling that a collection. I'll show them a real collection. A collection of whoopee cushions. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't help myself. <laughs> Thank you, Mana, Fritz and Fifi. Let's all sit down. Uh, for once, that was not me. Well, that's all the time we have. So we'll see you next time on Good, Good Morning, Morning Dilly Dale. Dale. Welcome to our first meeting of the Collection Club. A chance for friends to come together and to share their collections with one another. Uh, Miss Helpful, do you really mean to tell me our club has just three members? Well, it is only our first meeting. I'm sure everyone will want to join once they hear how fun it is. Mr Pernickety, why don't you start? Very well. This is my very first vacuum cleaner. Excellent with dust and dog hair. Not that I would allow a dog in the house. Now, this vacuum cleaner is 100 years old. Back when things were filthy. It still works. And finally, the jewel of my collection. The Turbo Tornado! Oh, what? Those trainees were just getting good and stinky. Well, now that's what I call a vacuum. Isn't it amazing? It's nice to know people still appreciate the finer things in life. How about you, Mr. Messy? Show us your collection. I thought you'd never ask. This is my collection of pizza crusts. I think I'm going to faint. My, some of those look pretty old. They are. This one here is ten years old. Old, stale pizza crusts. Yeah, and best of all, no two crusts are alike. Fascinating. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, this one was a pesto pizza. This one came from an extra cheese and olive. This one was an anchovy, but I ate it anyway. Rotting food is not a collection. It is rubbish. Oh, I've got other collections too. <laughs> Is that what I think it is? Yes, a pile of stinky socks. Wow, now that is a collection. I know, you've got your feet smell, your cheesy feet smell, your rotten eggs feet smell, and wait, I almost forgot my other collection. A collection of dirt? How do you know? That's it, Mr. Messy. This is disgusting. I can't allow you to dirty Miss Helpful's house any further. Oh, it's all right? Please, Miss Helpful, if we're ever going to teach Mr. Messy, we have to remain firm. I will have this cleaned up immediately. Put those in my collection. I'm sorry, Mr. Messy, but filth does not count as a collection. Perhaps you should consider collecting rooms, sponges, soup. That's crazy talk, Mr. P. Uh, Mr. Pernickety. Not now, Miss Helpful. Do tell me you own soap. Oh, I have soap somewhere. But, but, Mr. Pernickety. What do you mean, somewhere? I know I have some. It's with me, Sponge. I just don't know where they are right now. It's going to explode. Uh. Well, this first meeting of the Collection Club really went with a bang. That's what I'm talking about. These socks are making my head itch. Is that nervous here? I have stumbled upon a strange land where the sun burns hotter than a thousand... Sons, no sign of life yet, friendly or otherwise. I'm in a land of giants. How did this happen? Oh, slowly. E e easy does it. Oh, no, but the giants have set a trap. Oh, the paper clip. Oh, these giants are clever. Oh, I, oh, 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 I've made it to the pencil. Oh, oh, no. What if the giants need to 
write something. Go. No. Oh, oh. That's it. This is the end. <laughs> Safe now. I feel like my daughter's house furniture, Mr. Nervous. I've just got this lovely new chair. Isn't it cute? I just love collecting miniature furniture. <laughs> Have you seen this teeny mini stapler? It really works. Let me show you. Giant scary staple monster! <laughs> no, 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 no. Once you start collecting something, it can be difficult to stop. But that's what makes life exciting and brings friends even closer together.